Hi there, and you're very welcome to my channel. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a hat in the booth, and that is because uh, due to the pandemic, there are no barber shops open, so my hair is uh, a disgrace and it's an absolute crime, hence why I'm hiding it. Um, speaking of crime, today I'm going to speak about voiceover theft and people stealing your voiceover. And you, you might think, how is that possible? Or why would they do that? Or how could they do that? Um, well, they can. It's very real. And uh, it has happened a lot in, in the voiceover world. Um, I'm going to tell you a story. It's not my story, but it's, it's a story from a very good friend of mine who's a, a voice actor. And, you know, when he was starting out, um, he was the victim of this. So on a lot of these formats, you'll get uh, messages from a potential client who is asking you for a sample. Now, they're not all going to do this, and some of them are absolutely fine, but um, this particular uh, client, potential client, asked uh, my friend for a sample um, for a radio advert, and he was quite new to the game of voiceover, and he said, yes, of course, and he was very eager, and, you know, he did a couple of takes and did his best possible job, which he thought, you know, could get him the job, which was a sample audition, he thought. Um, so he spent the time recording, uh, editing, and, and making it, polishing it up so it was the best possible voiceover it could be. And he submitted the, uh, the audition sample in a downloadable MP3 format. Um, and he didn't hear back from the client at all. So... After a couple of days, he messaged the client and he said, look, um, hi, I'm wondering, did I get the job? Uh, was my voiceover sufficient? And um, he finally got a response from the uh, potential client who said, look, I'm really sorry. We've chose someone else. Thank you for your time. And, uh, and basically, we'll keep you in mind for further projects. And he left it at that and, you know, carried on. But then he said a couple of months later, he was driving in his car and he heard his voice on the radio and that was his voiceover. So basically the potential client had stolen his voice and which is completely illegal and then, you know, sold it to somebody. And yeah, it was then used by, by the radio. Of course, you know, he, the, the client was gone from the format then there was nothing he could do. So you, you, you know, this, not all the potential clients are going to be like this, but a lot of times if somebody asks me for a sample, I will say, yes, I will send you a sample, uh, but it will not be in a downloadable form. And that's OK. I mean, basically, they should have already heard your demo first on these formats that um, they like your voice enough to, to consider you for for an audition. So I'm going to show you a way on how you can stop this or basically what you can do. So just bear with me now. And okay, here we go. So first I'm going to Audacity. And yeah, so basically I was asked to, to send a sample for uh, a mafia game, a video game using my, my New York Italian America mobster voice. Um, so, I've just pre-recorded this one. I'll give you a quick listen to it. It's dangerous being the boss. Haters are always waiting around the corner, trying to take what's yours. But fortunately, we are here to fight back. Do you hear that sound? It's what bad decisions sound like. Do not mess with my team. I don't have time for weakness. Unite all the mafia gangs. Okay, so that basically is uh, it's my audition. And uh, yeah, I've done that to the best of my ability in my New York Italian American accent um, for this, uh, this mafia game. So I'm just going to, I've already done it. So I'll just export this as an MP3. And here we go. I'm going to call it Mafia. It was called Mafia City, but I'm going to call it Mafia, mafia Game Sample. Okay. Save it. There we go. Okay, right. So that that's saved right there. Um, now, next thing, if I, I could just send that to the client, and they might just be fine, but to cover myself, if somebody wants a sample, 
maybe if it's if it's one or two words or something, you know, I, I could possibly send them a downloadable downloadable sample, but I prefer not to. And to cover myself, this is what I'm going to do. So once again, bear with me. Now here we go. We're on SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud is a completely free website, free to sign up. Um, you can, of course, go pro, but I mean, as you can see there, I've I've done tons of uploads on here and uh, I've only used 69% and, you know, I probably could, yeah, delete some. So, you know, SoundCloud is, is the way to go. Um, I'm going to show you. So just basically, I'll choose my file. And yeah, so music, Mafia, Mafia game sample, there it is. Okay, and uh, you can also, if you want to make it look even more professional, is to put in um, a picture. So I'm just going to have a look for possibly an image from my um, one of my thumbnails. Some mob boss, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, and then I will save that, and automatically. It's giving me a link. So I'll just copy that. And what I will do then is to, uh, you know, I would go into the, the format where the client has asked me to provide a sample and I'll just send them this link. So I'll just paste it in here for you and see what it looks like. It's taking its time today, that's for sure. But what, what this is doing is this is covering me 100% because like I said, the client could be fine and they're not all going to be like, you know, the, um, see if that's working. Am I sharing the sound here? Dangerous being the boss. Haters are always waiting around the corner, trying to take what's yours. But fortunately we are here to fight back. So that's, um, that's my my sample and that has covered me basically from any kind of voiceover theft so the person that's you know that, that's asking for the sample they can't download that they'll have to try and do it illegally somehow i don't know if they even can possibly but uh another way is to use youtube i mean youtube more is, is more for your demos though because it takes longer to upload a, a sample to to youtube um, of course, it is a re really good way, though, of linking your demos. Basically, you just create a thumbnail and add in your audio via MP4. And you can create your demos on YouTube. Also, SoundCloud is a great way of sending your demos. Upload upload your demos to SoundCloud and send them in as well. Um, you know, people are looking for, for demos. But uh, to stop your, your voiceover or your sample being stolen, this is, is a really good way to do it and, and use SoundCloud. So, um, yeah, I, I hope that helps in any way. And even if we're not talking about voiceover theft, uh, if you haven't heard of SoundCloud, it's a great way to, to keep all your samples and your demos and everywhere else and to send them on to potential clients. And like I said, not all clients, hopefully most of them are going to try and steal your voiceover. There are a lot of genuine people out there. But just, you know, to cover yourself, if you do feel, well, this is a bit odd. Somebody's asked me for 10 lines of a sample that looks like a whole advertisement or a whole part of a, a line or a piece of a, an audio drama or something. But um, yeah, just to be on the safe side, use SoundCloud. Uh, you see how to do it now. And as always, if you have any questions at all, um, just put them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them as usual. And uh, yeah, happy voiceover.